Hey you. Long time no see. <laughs> Guys, I have been tagged once again, and this time it's by my buddy over in the UK, Nick Barry, at his channel Not More Games. I really enjoy listening to him speak about his games, as well as just really almost any topic. He kind of has a soothing sort of voice. And this time it's the half and half tag, in which the taggy must answer five questions about him or herself related to video games, as well as five questions related to his or her personal life. I'm gonna mix these and jump between the gaming and personal questions, so as hopefully to make things interesting and kind of add a little variety to this combination salad. <laughs> first question, what's a game you were skeptical about that ended up being fantastic? The first one that comes to mind, and it is a modern game, is actually Grand Theft Auto V. Now don't get me wrong, I've never disputed the quality of the Grand Theft Auto franchise, but as I mentioned in one of my previous list videos in which I listed five popular games that I actually didn't like, Grand Theft Auto 4 did not hit home with me, so I had kind of subconsciously curbed my expectations for 5. Sure, the previews looked great, and I was extremely intrigued by the dynamic of switching between three different protagonists, but I was a little leery of the game, thinking that it could easily become another Grand Theft Auto 4 experience for me. Fortunately, it was not, and I have actually thoroughly enjoyed playing Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm pretty close to beating it now, I think. I think I'm around 70, 75% of the way through the main story, so I'm hoping to beat that before the end of the year. Question number two is, who is your favorite musician or band? One thing about me is that I'm actually not huge on favorites of things. I have just too many different things that I like and lots of things that I dislike. I will say that my favorite older band is Led Zeppelin. Their music made a huge impact on my life uh, as a teenager and even earlier than that, but. They were kind of what really served as a gateway to me for getting into a lot of the music that I like now, including metal and hardcore and punk rock. If you could have an item from any video game, what would it be? Almost without hesitation, I'm gonna say the stealth camouflage from Metal Gear Solid 1. Next to being able to fly, I think being invisible would be pretty much the coolest thing ever. It might just be the introvert in me saying that, but... Think of the applications! What's something you really liked as a kid, but don't care for now? Being accepted by society. Question five, what is the best video game related gift you've received from a friend? I don't have any friends. Um, honestly, I guess I'd have to go with any of the donations that I've received from friends and then also from some of you guys who watch this channel. I've received boxes of games and gaming related items for winning contests. I don't know that that's necessarily a gift, it's more like a prize, but I've also gotten free games from some of my good friends. Thanks again, guys. I appreciated that a lot. What's something dumb you did as a teenager? It might actually be harder for me to think of things that I did that were smart as a teenager. What is a game you really enjoyed but no one else seems to know about? Uh, let's see. I didn't love it necessarily, but the game Machinarium was pretty good. I think it was just a downloadable only title. I played it on PS3. I think the environments and the in-game assets were all hand-drawn, I believe. As far as adventure games go, is one of the ones that I've liked the most of those that I've played in terms of kind of the traditional style. I tend to enjoy the more modern Telltale game style and Heavy Rain and Until Dawn style adventure games a little more. They're a little bit more compelling to me. But I don't really hear people talk about Machinarium too much, and it was pretty good, so if you get a hankering, check it out. Question number eight is, what did you want to be when you grew up? A paleontologist. What game do you think deserves a sequel or modern remake? For this one, I would have said Crash Bandicoot a few months ago, but then it was announced at E3 that, lo and behold, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3 would be coming to PS4 in some sort of remastered way, so that one's out. I think what I'm gonna go with now are Medieval on PS1, kind of just because that game's been on my mind a lot lately. I think it's because Halloween's getting close. If they were to improve the controls a little bit, obviously update the graphics, it'd be a pretty awesome game, and I feel like it could be a great way to reintroduce modern and younger gamers to a brief franchise on the PS1 that resonated with a lot of people pretty well. And the final question, if you could go back and do one thing different, what would it be? I would say I wish I would have started my YouTube channel sooner. I started this channel back in 2014, and I did so basically just because I had moved to a brand new state, a new city, the biggest city I'd ever lived in, and I didn't really know anybody, so I was kind of bored, and I was looking for ways to meet new people and kind of a new creative outlet. I'm a writer by trade, but I'd done some video work in the past, all just for fun with friends and some other projects for school and things like that. But I'd known well that it was a passion of mine and that it was something that I wanted to do as a hobby. So in a lot of ways, I wish I'd started this channel even sooner, but better late than never. 
Now, this is the part of the video where I'm technically supposed to tag a few other people. And I was looking through my list of some of my friends and like most involved community members, and a lot of people have already done this tag. And I don't know who all has been invited to do this one. So if you have not been tagged for this and have not done this video yet and would like to, please feel free to go ahead and do so. And if you do make a video response to this one, leave me a comment with the link below and I'll watch it and see what your answers are. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cross Chop. And if this was your first Cross Chop video and you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out at Cross Chop today. And as always, play heavy.